yeah, I'm gonna start the tutorial. So, yeah, first of all, I'm sure saying you, um, I'm a Bioshock runner since pretty much 2013, uh, the end of 2013, something like that. And this is my updated tutorial of Bioshock because I, I've been wanting to do it for a while and now it's the time, I guess. First of all, I want to say um, you need to have high FPS for the run, so you want to have a nice PC. I'm, I'm guessing most of you wanting to, wanting to run this game probably have a good PC anyway, so I don't really have to say that. And well, just so you c can compare, I guess. Like I have a like my graphics card is a GTX seven seven sixty, so like anything actually worse than that and better than that is actually, I mean, not really all that bad. But like, if you have something really really bad, then I recommend you try doing the strats that I will show later. And if you can do them then it's okay. So first of all I'm gonna play with keyboard and it's like the first time I'm gonna be trying to do everything with keyboard. So there's gonna be some some mess some mess arounds with some stuff whenever I get to some parts but yeah. First off what you wanna do? You wanna go to options and well I'm just in right now I'm just in window mode but you can do whatever. Uh whatever works better for you. I used everything in low because it it kinda gets better for the FPS and um, you're gonna need around 300 FPS or more to do the, the strats well 250 to 300 is okay so never mind you're gonna you're gonna want uh, uh, basing off of course because you know it, it unlocks the FPS and well, for the first part of the run, I'm gonna be doing uh, busing on, and there's a reason for that. Um, I've been told that um, better keyboards uh, can can mess up this trick, and it has to do with um, keyboards being like more accurate with the keys and stuff. So. I'm gonna use VSync because it's gonna cap my game to 60 FPS, so that way I'm gonna be able to do this trick uh, easier. Um, with one of these five euro keyboards that are in like in markets and and stuff, you can pretty much do it easier. And that's what I've been told that with a normal keyboard that for which you don't really care about like. That one will work better than a like really good keyboard. I don't actually know the actual act the actual answer for that, but yeah, I'm gonna be using uh, Bsync off if you wanna try this. I mean, this is easy if you have Bsync on. So yeah, the thing with Bsync on, Bsync off is that you don't wanna go to the menu uh, during the run. It wastes a bit of time. I mean, if you I mean, it, it's it's not gonna waste a lot of time, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I'm gonna put Bitsing on, and then another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the controls, and this is something that I that I that I like having myself, and well, I mean, it's it's something that of course you don't wanna have. You don't wanna have. What the walk key to like anything that you're gonna use during the run, so yeah, either just bind it to whatever because, um, it's I think it's usually set to control or alt or, or something like that. And like, whenever you're like, if you're used to other games, you're gonna press it and you're gonna be walking, and you're, you're not you're gonna be like, why am I walking? And I don't know why the game has that, but. It's something that it shouldn't be there. Then, well, you can use whatever here. Uh, this is what I use. This is like um, what I have myself. This is the default, pretty much. 
Um, this one is, yeah, this is whatever you want to have. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not a professional runner on PC. I, I used to run on, on console, so yeah. Also, you don't want to have this one binded to anything because it's not really important. So, like, it, it's, it's going to be by default on Shift. So, if you're used to any other game, like, for example, me right now, I'm used to Borderlands. So, whenever I press Shift, I think I'm going to run. And I open the, the Plasmid uh, selection menu and that fucks up things. And, again, whatever your game has as the key. Or whatever you want to have. By preference, it's it's okay. And then I'm gonna talk about mouse mouse sensitivity. Um, there's a problem with this port, and I think Bioshock 2 has it as, has it as well that the acceleration of the mouse and the DPI of your mouse in general when you're playing this game is higher. I think it's I think it's that what happens. Pretty much uh, there is a um, there's a an, uh, a document, a yeah, program, kind of a program that you can use. It's not a program; it's just a little patch. Let's just say that. And it's well, it's gonna be in the in the description. And it's something that you just double click on, and it will configure uh, the INI files. Um, I was told this like not long ago, so. Yeah, this just helps with the keyboard not like going really fast when you're playing the game because you don't want that. Uh, like, it said it sets it so you can like actually move wh where you want and not where the game wants. So there's that. I used to play on on controllers, but but now I'm not gonna touch any of that. Um, there's something though with the keys that I didn't say. I have I have quick save and quick load in F8 and F9. Do you I mean I'm comfortable with that but like it like just put it in something in in some kit that you're comfortable with just because for the first runs you might want to use them a lot maybe so yeah. And anything else I'm not going to touch because if I touch any graphic or anything um the mouse things are going to and stop and I'm gonna have to redo it so yeah that's the first part that's the the start of whatever you want for the run you want like the most important thing is that you need high FPS if you play if you play with controller or keyboard it, it doesn't really matter I recommend playing with keyboard and mouse even though I am the only one that plays with controller and feels comfortable with it but I'm just gonna say that I'm not gonna start the game from new game. That's another thing that we're gonna point out. Um, you wanna start the game from new game once and then just create a file as I have. Um, yeah, this one. Save files are in Spanish. The ones that I have from long from long ago. But yeah, this one is from where from when I actually had the game in Spanish. I set it to English. Some time ago, but yeah, it it should say crash site, and whenever you load it, then that's what I'm gonna do here. Is gonna pop you, whenever you start, like whenever you gain control. So you wanna have the intro go on, and then whenever you get to the, to where you can actually, um, well before you can move, you just go on the on the start menu and save. And then just like load the game from there. There's another thing I didn't actually mention before, and I just I just uh, remember when I was do uh, doing the um, all the things here, and I'm gonna think I'll I'll show it later. Yeah, it's it's about the splits uh, because we have uh, an, um, a load remover now for the splits. Because we don't have, we don't want RTA anymore. We want in-game time. RTA, well, you can still put it in the leaderboards, but we want in-game time. So if you can just live split and and just have the old remover, that would be great. So I'll actually explain that later. And yeah, whatever whatever you do, you just 
when you have the split splits and the, the load remover, you load the save file and start the splits from from the from the loading screen, and it will just stop the timer. So you can just move whenever you can, and when you can move, you just move through fire because you're invincible in this part. And well, the intro is. It's just the intro, if you've seen the, the game, well, you need to play the intro, so... Yeah, there's that. I'm just gonna play through the intro normally. Uh, and we're gonna do, like, a little trick that... It, it isn't really for... For, like, saving time, because it's, it's cool doing it, and... It's always nice to have something like this, <laughs> really. So yeah, you're you're gonna know this when you play with keyboard that when you move backwards, you move fast, like you move like if you were actually going uh, forward. So whenever you whenever you go back, and what you wanna do here is you wanna you wanna jump, and when you jump you wanna press A. Where, where press E to pull the lever if I can do it correctly damn it and you're gonna be out of the body sphere so you're, you're gonna, you wanna go backwards jump and press E or whatever key you have to pull the lever and you're gonna be out of the body sphere you can't move here or do anything you can just move the camera and the only thing this does is uh, if you actually get it first try, you can save. I think it's close to a second or a bit more. It's it's not really a lot. You just touch the trigger faster. And well, now you don't have any of the any of the images that are inside the biosphere. You don't see them. You actually hear the audio, but nothing else. And you can see Rapture from from out of the body sphere and see how it looks the intro is the part that that has changed a lot lately just as some other skips um, comparing to the other tutorial that I had of course so pretty much from the other tutorial, we could like. I'm just gonna say we got like. Four minutes or something in the route. Or maybe like. Like five. Something like. From four to five minutes in the route. Because of new skips. The other tutorial will still be available for console runners if any appear. Because that one's updated for console runs. But yeah, all you wanna have here is actually there's something that I I'm missing. I think though, because because I don't like this. Okay, now it's just the game being dumb. Sometimes the subtitles don't show up. I just like having them for some reason. Oh, well, you're gonna see whenever I get inside of that, that I'm gonna touch the trigger faster. Well, I mean, if you don't know the game, you you don't know. But if you know the game, you know this doesn't happen this fast. And we're in Welcome to Rapture, where the skip in which I'm gonna use uh, Bissing Gone is gonna happen. It's in the five minute mark, so I mean, you wanna, you kinda wanna practice this for a while. I haven't really practiced it a lot, so I'm gonna mess it up a lot. Not the setup, but the skip itself. Um, it pretty much involves you um, jumping a lot. You don't wanna walk normally because the game pushes you backwards, and you're gonna see that in a while. It's always not as good to do a tutorial like I am doing it, but just because of the intro being this long and yeah I'm just for people in YouTube because I will upload this to YouTube uh, 
I am doing this on Twitch TV. And I'm gonna have my Twitch account in uh, in the description below, so if you wanna check it, check me out. I'm gonna, I'll probably be doing the speedruns of a priority of games. And yeah, whenever you get here, just pick up the radio like normally, and just wait for the game to tell you to go out. Just mess around with the game. You can do whatever. And do not lose focus on the on the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna go out of the conversation of the tutorial for a while. I'm gonna I'm just gonna say to the people that's in the chat right now. I can't really I can't really talk to you right now. But I'll get to you whenever I can. Because I I don't wanna have the tutorial full with. Random conversation. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna do this. Just break this. And then just go to the right or the left to skip that. And then just Just kill the splicer. You can get the items or not get them. Uh it doesn't really matter. And then you're gonna you wanna you wanna be here and you wanna go until you see that pop up. You can save, you can quick save if you want, and then what you want to do is, you want to press the start button and the button to pick up Electrobolt at the same time. I'm gonna do something first though. Um, okay, so yeah, it's better to just not have save files, but... I just do that so I don't lose focus right now. But yeah, what you wanna do is you just wanna press E with well in my case it's E and S and escape at the same time. And I don't know if I did it right, but if I did I d I didn't, so I'm gonna do it again. What should happen when if you when you do it well it's that. Okay, so you pick up the um the um, the plasmid, but you saved. So what you can do is you can just load that, and you can move. So you wanna move back, get your electrobolt electrobolt out. You suit this. If the game wants you to do something, okay, there you go. Okay, you don't wanna, um, you wanna start jumping whenever the, the game loads, so you don't get the cuts in. Because if you get the cuts in, you're gonna be um, self-locked, so you don't want that. And now you wanna be as good as you can with the massing on the space, so you can, so you get the most speed you can with the jumps. And you get far. And you wanna activate this trigger. Just do whatever I do and you will be able to trigger the splicers and all of that. Here you, ha you have to look at the door, so it's just the only thing. You wanna kill this one. This one can be dangerous. Um, not, not for you, but for the guy here. This guy's on fire and he's not gonna die by touching you, but he's gonna die if someone touches him, so... So you wanna... Yeah, you don't wanna be out there. You wanna be there? Okay. For optimal stress, like, if you get the guy in your way, you want him to push you inside. But if you go inside of the elevator like that, it's okay. That's, that's really good. So whenever... You get to the elevator. You're you're set to go to the end. Uh, you still have to jump though, so be careful with this. And I'm gonna be a bit safe with this. I'm just gonna so what I do, which is kill this splicer here, because it doesn't matter anymore. Killing killing her. 
And there's something that I have to mention right now. Um, well, if you touch anything in the floor, you're gonna have that bounce backwards, so you don't want to touch anything that is like in the ground like that. Like I was touching some texture and it was putting like pushing me backwards. So whenever you enter here, you wanna save, and what it does is that when you load the game, you can move. And you can use your weapons. This is the second effect, uh, skipping the captain of the Electro Ball has. It saves a total of two minutes or a bit more because you can skip this part too. It was probably really bad if I had timed this. It was. Pr it probably was really really bad, but it doesn't matter. You, it's just practice and practice and. It's something I don't have right now. But I mean, I've, I've, I've done this skip a while, like for a while already, so... Thing is, I'm not used to keyboard, so that's the problem with me now. But yeah, you wanna kill those guys there, and then just come here, get stuck with the wall, do that. If you get lucky, you will get this Splicer to come here. Most of the time, you will get the Splicer there. When you, whenever you get this Splicer here, those guys are gonna spawn. So, you wanna kill the guy. Oh, no! Okay. Okay, you wanna have some... Um, some Eve right here. I used a little more than I had to, but you want to have some Eve, and you don't want to enter the cutscene. You want to be like that and just shoot the door, and we're set. That was Welcome to Rapture, and right now it's gonna be medical pavilion in which we can actually move normally so it's gonna be all good and well <laughs> it's gonna be good but you know we don't have Eve so yeah so you wanna have well you wanna hack this machine that's the normal thing and it's always the first time you play so you if you, if you reset in your runs, you might want to close the game and enter the game again. It's the same all the time. So you just do this and do this and just like do that and that's all. And you want to deactivate that. You don't want it to follow you. It's not bad. It's just for conveniency. Like if it gets in your way or something. So you wanna get that, and you wanna go over here as fast as you can through to the level. Activate that. Don't forget to look at this. So you activate it. And you wanna be whatever route you use for this room in particular you want to come here as fast as you can so the route i use is one of the fastest there is, there are like two routes you can use for that so you want to pick up incineration put it there i i like you doing what i did there for some reason because it kills the enemies and then they they don't get in your way after. So you want to be killing enemies. That was a lag spike. Because by the game, pretty much. Can you kill the... Okay. So you want to... There is a thing. You want to either leave this guy alive. Or you want to do the other strat that I'm going to show. Which requires high FPS. You... You primarily want to go for this one. Um, because, well, the, uh, the FPS one can actually be a bit tricky. And if you 
you can miss the skip by just a bit. So just leave this guy alive. Well, not alive. I mean, just let him throw the table and then just um, kill the guy. Okay. He, he needs to throw the table. So yeah, you want to change it for for. Do you want to change? Um, you want to change um, electro like telekinesis for electro bolt because you're not gonna use electro bolt anymore. And now this table right here that he threw at me, okay, it's gonna have, um, it's gonna be magic. I call it the magic table. Well, we call it the magic table of flight for a reason. You don't want the guy to be in your way, but. Okay, I'm gonna do something that I never do in runs, which is picking up something to like to have my to have more health. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you both methods. Hopefully, though, I'm gonna be able to do them. So the first one I'm gonna I'm gonna show the FPS one because it's so you just for the FPS one you wouldn't get the table right here, of course. Um, this is an advanced strat, you don't really want to do it, because what you have to do is you want to get really high up, um, preferably you want to get to the top. Uh, you can do it getting right there or a bit less, but if you get to like halfway, you're going to activate the vital chamber right there. So you want to get on top of the, of the item, if the item lets you, that's, this is why you don't want to do it at first when you're doing runs and then just the game's not gonna let me do it is it uh, it's not gonna let me do it fuck oh well of course fuck <laughs> i forgot of course it's not gonna let me do it so i need bising off yeah if you have bising on then just put it off whenever you enter medical pavilion Yeah, there you go. That was weird because you never get such a low thing with a bit high FPS. So yeah. Well, yeah. The problem with this is that you wanna how you wanna go forward, jump, and just telekinesis. And it depends on where you're s when you have this set up. So there you go. If you go this up, you can just continue the level normal. Okay, but the other method, which is the easy one. So you want to go there. Okay, so I'm going to do it some more time so you can see what I'm doing. You want to aim there, jump, aim down, and just... And just like aim, just like jump. Most of the time you will get... Um... You will get the the bounce, so it's not it's not really a big deal. So you just you just oh yeah. Sometimes this happens too. And sometimes you won't get any anywhere. So you wanna, I mean, for the first runs, you might want to have a safe file. I mean, it doesn't really lose much time. So, you can also do another thing if you don't like this one, you can just do this. And whenever you whenever you end, you just want to get the grenade. So, yeah, whenever you're down there. If the game lets me do it, of course. The other one is like better in a way and well if I can sew it again because I sewed it once but I want to explain it and sew it. <laughs> well yeah like this you're gonna see the skip a lot. I'll just explain it if I can get it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you want to do, okay? 
But yeah, if you die, you can't really do much. So you wanna have full health. Um, if you wanna go fast, you don't wanna heal. Uh, this might kill you, though. Okay, so you wanna get as close as you can of that. And just throw the grenade. You, can't, you don't wanna throw it whenever the wall is falling down or when you're really far away from it. You want to do it like that, like really close to it and when it's actually fully down. And whenever you're here, you just pick up some stuff, if you want, of course. And you want to aim for the robot and try to take it down, if you can. And that's all. And, well, this is for practice purposes. So you want to, for practice purposes, or even in runs, you can save here. And you save, get this. And you aim right there. And you wanna, you wanna hit the guy whenever the dialogue happens. So I'm gonna try it again. So yeah, like, I, I did it wrong there, but if it happens, there is nothing bad about that. If it happens, if you miss it, you can just wait for the dialogue and just be in the, uh, in the middle, in the middle mirror, and just like, well, mirror, yeah, in the middle, like, glass, and just like, wait for him. Just pick up something and kill him what I'm talking is if something happens you just stay right there and just wait for the dialogue and just pick up this and just kill him and then you wanna kill yourself with incineration if the game lets you do it because there's a lot of water in this area and if you've done it right you should appear right here and that's outside of um, of Steinman so you just wanna set up another death warp and you wanna kill yourself in this very spot and you will appear at the start of the level and this is pretty much the end of medical pavilion You wanna do that, you just wanna activate that and then just come here. And you're set to go to Neptune's bounty. And again, um, it isn't such a hard run. But yeah. I mean, you wanna practice by bits, you wanna practice the little tricks that, that it has. So, yeah, once we are in Neptune's Mount, you wanna walk forward from the start, so you appear like right here. It's gonna put you, it's gonna put you the message of um, a special ammo right here, or in the, or in the, or in the file with the Stayman, it depends on the game. Well, it depends if you have your weapon on or not. Well, you wanna pick up this. Well, for optimal strats, you wanna jump on that. Like, r from there to there, but I didn't show it just because... It's just something that you wanna do when you're in high level, so... <laughs> you just throw it at the turret, and that's all. You can do this part without the turret, though. You can use a corpse or something. So... You might, you might have seen that I picked up um, a message from the floor, and you might, you might want to take out your keyboard for a key that actually does what I'm gonna do now, which is opening the diary menu with the keyboard instead of um, having to go manually with the mouse and shit. So what you wanna do, you wanna take out the special keys in your keyboard. In my case, it's um, 
like I think it's song back so whenever he starts talking you want to go to this menu and just a diary that you picked up from the floor and you just wanna look up and look down and she will trigger and then you just throw the turret two times and if you're lucky she won't get stuck anywhere she can get stuck like right there but she didn't okay and well you wanna wait here you can pick up your grenade launcher right there uh, for me for press for preference I don't want to pick it up I'm gonna explain it later whenever you get the arrow the quest arrow just do another diary skip it's one of the most useful tricks in the game so you wanna you wanna be in point with this one it's it's really easy all you have to do is just for this one in particular you wanna wait for the quest arrow but for the other ones you just wanna do it whenever the message starts never before never before you will have to manually um, manually um, pick up the brand new message and then just skip it again which saves which loses time so yeah so we're gonna go oh no you wanna go this way pretty much following the the quest arrow and you wanna try opening the doors as fast as you can and I don't know you what I do here is just do that I just pick up the camera and turn around and as fast as you as as I can I pick I take the photograph you need to take three photographs of three spider splicers and I set up a next the next death warp right here and I do it this way because it it works for me a lot so you aim here take it photograph and you aim down here take the photograph You might want to kill these guys, so take out your gun and just kill them. Some enemy might get in your way right here. I would recommend just being a bit uh, safe with that enemy. If you're not, if you have been doing runs for a while, you can ignore all of the enemies and just kill yourself as fast as you can. And what we're gonna do here is a little trick that is not is not really a trick because I'm gonna pick up my guns after. But with a bit of luck, after all, after those tire skips, you just take this with telekinesis and just don't take it until you have your weapons out. So. You wanna have something that is solid? You wanna get those grenades there. That's why I got the grenade launcher right here. If you don't get the grenade launcher right here, you probably won't get grenade, uh, grenades right there. So. You wanna look at that way? You wanna look uh, the way I was pointing. So he actually spawns either in your back or in your left. Mostly he will actually spawn in your left. So he will be like you just turn to the left and throw the camera or a barrel right there and kill him he can be a bit of a pain in the ass but yeah whenever you can you just kill him and then pick up his corpse he will have an automatic uh, hacking tool so you want to have that then you just kill this guy have your weapons again and you will have uh, more grenades so that's why I got the grenade launcher right there so right now you have the perfect amount of grenades for the game. So also, if you take out, if you take your weapons back, you you're gonna have the film necessary for the photographs. But I'm gonna be explaining something else um, 
whenever we get to the next level. If you don't pick up your guns and just continue continue on without your guns, but only this, only with the uh, grenade launcher, because you can. Uh, I mean, not getting your weapons again saves like one or two seconds. So, I mean, if you consider it, then good. Now, this is the part where you don't want to have a controller plugged in. Um, I've had that happen once, but it can happen, and yeah, there's there's a pistol you don't have one. So, you want to have your controller not plugged in, and you want to remember that, well, well, if you shoot from there while walking, you will probably most likely always hit that, and well, you want to be playing with keyboard for this part, uh, even if you play everything with controller, you can still use the keyboard. Uh, it might not happen, but it might. It, there's a little possibility that it can happen, and it's annoying. Um, and it's your movement speed when going backwards will uh, decrease if you have a controller plugged in. Sometimes. Most of the time it doesn't, but it can happen. So, yeah, you want to have this angle, like kind of touching the, uh, touching the door. So you just touch the door. And like, like, kind of like this, and then just like, for practice purposes, you just go like that and just go backwards and press E. And bam, that's it. Like, it's, it's really easy. Yeah, there's nothing else to it, you, you just do that. And bam, you just keep the cutscene. Even if you fail it a bit, it's still faster, so doesn't matter. You can mess around with everything here, it, like nothing really happens. And then... You wanna be prepared for another diary skip right here, as fast as you can. And we're in the next level, which is Arcadia. And this level has... One little thing that I can that I want as well. So right here, there's a door in front of you, and there is a switch to go back to uh, Smoker's Hideout in your back. But what you can do to open the door faster, the the one that you have to go through, you can just go here. You wanna go to the um to the door. You wanna go to the door and. See, I'm wait for the diary to pop up, and then just uh, go back to Smuggers. It will open the door faster, and you won't get teleported back. And what I said, if you don't get your weapons back, you won't have the film necessary. So you have some film, like right there, and you will have enough for the progress that you have today here. So just imagine I have like 20. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use the little trick with the door because it can mess up my audio, and I don't want that. But yeah. So you want you can get you can have that film like backup film if you want. Also, another little trick you wanna have in mind is. This one, where you should change your weapon, suit like choose change. I mean, it's like should change to plasmid suit and repeat. This is where the machine gun is if you don't have one, and you want to take five photographs of this one and just go for this one. And take five photographs of him. You can take four, four, four. Like if you, you kind of want the enemies to attack you um, before you take the photograph, so you get more points. So you get uh, sport boost two faster. Uh, sport boost two is something that isn't really required, but it it's it's it helps. So um, for the new strats. 
We're gonna pick up this box. One of the three boxes just works, so whatever. And you wanna come here, wanna take the photographs of this one. He might give you a uh, sport boost too. If he doesn't though, if he doesn't there is another another guy right here. You don't need a sport boost too until uh, Ephesus anyway, so there's another guy right here, you can just take the photographs out of that one. He will be either right there or in front of the uh, of the bot, most likely where where he was right now. So you wanna aim right here, like right there, and you wanna have the box like you don't wanna have it like that. You wanna have it like something like that. Maybe you wanna look this way, so gonna show you uh, where it's pointing at it's pointing at that rock so when I do this and I go here I skipped everything I just skipped Arcadia completely so you wanna aim to that rock I got it first try but I'm probably gonna fail it the next one the next try so okay now I'm getting really good at PS right here and I got the like one of the perfect setups, so you kind of want to have some setup like that and pretty much you skip the trigger of Arcadia I'm gonna show you what happens if you fail it, I'm not gonna do the skip again but I'm gonna show what happens, I'm gonna look at the trigger and you will hear a sound that's the sound you want to look for when when doing the skip, if you hear that sound you have to retry so make sure you make a file unless you're really consistent with this and it's really hard to be consistent uh, with this with this um, with this strats so yeah this is the sound and this will close so yeah you wanna be through as fast as you can so you probably won't make it so you really wanna save out there so that you just practice it over and over and over like all you have to do is go go forward jump and press telekinesis you you have good at ps as i have right here it's all gonna be easy um if you see that somehow you trigger the thing really fast you might want to put the box a bit uh, farther away from the rock um so yeah like you just try your own setup and just find your way there it's really easy once you once you mess around with it um anyway if you have any question from the start to here you can just put it in the in the comments below so yeah we're gonna go to the next level which is for frolic and for frolic has changed a lot uh since i started running the game when i started running the game we used the trash can and and a suitcase but right now we're gonna use this little suitcase right here and it's gonna be the same process as with, as with Arcadia but this one is easier so you wanna put it like right here it, it this one has nothing like I don't really have to sew it again most likely so you just do a fling which is what we call this strat and Bam, you should be like right here. You should get, you probably will get higher. I, I got a really bad setup there, but yeah. And you just, you just wanna look for, you just wanna look for, oh yeah, for the body sphere since it's, yeah, like you just get to like right here like the middle kind of and just like aim like most most like most of the time you will have to use like go there go to the middle to like right there and just go backwards and spam e while going backwards and you will actually find the find the level the lever it's not it doesn't have anything else to it the lever is gonna be there so yeah I hope everything until here is okay. And now for backup struts, if, if uh, in case you don't have 
this many grenades, okay? You're gonna come here. You wanna come here and buy some um, crossbow ammo? Because you're gonna get a crossbow right now, so... Whenever you get a crossbow, you're gonna have some ammo. And if you didn't have a spark boost too at this point, you can take photographs of these guys. It isn't necessary to kill them, by the way. And what I'm gonna do here... It's all normal route, just pick up that grenade, jump here. If you don't get this, because I'm a scrub. There you go. If you don't get that, you just go around, that's, that's all. <laughs> or just try it again, it doesn't really matter. So you wanna come here, straight to here. And just play that, play a ready message, and that door will, well, the quest arrow will appear, you get one more grenade in here, and just wait for them to open the door. Whenever they open the door, you just shoot a grenade, it's, it's that simple. I use a grenade, you can use a corpse with telekinesis. Um, I prefer the grenade. Then I do this for later on to have the guys um, dead. And he will die with four. So you want to get this crossbow and then just. Do that. If you have the ammo for the, for the crossbow, and well, you, you're probably gonna have enough grenades to kill one guy. And if you didn't have more grenades, you can just do this, and bam. So right now we're gonna do something. If you pick, if you picked up the corpse, uh. Of Pitch Wilkins in uh, in uh, Neptune's Bounty, you will have an automatic hack tool. If you don't, I'm gonna give you the password uh, for the door, but I'm I'm gonna show you the the fastest strat. So you're gonna pick up shit again and. Once you're here, you can either enter zero, one, two, six, or you can just uh, press B and press B again. Oh well, I'm press this, and bam, you hack it, and that's all. You wanna be careful here with your health. Open that, and just kill yourself. You get the item and kill yourself, and then just come here. And whenever that is, whatever that is, that's for later on. All I do is just in case enemies get in my way or whatever. And when you see me change weapons when I don't have Eves because I don't wanna s I just don't wanna use Eep. And there you go. Would you just come down here and come this way? If the big daddy if you didn't kill the first big daddy for some reason and he is down there, you can take one of these bottles in the start of the level but yeah. this one's the fast the fast one and whenever you have all the materials you come here you make the bomb and don't forget to get it and just kill yourself again and now we're gonna we can explain both methods one of them requires Sports boost too. Well, 
it doesn't require it, it's easier with it. Um, so I'm gonna kill this enemy if I can. So this one requires high FPS and you just pick this up. If the game wants, there you go. Just do a fling and like to here, and whenever you're here, you just jump there. You can also use this machine round, machine gun rounds, and just go there. Just jump there, like right here, and you will be here. Gonna so the second method. Which with export with the sport was too. It should be easy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it free or not, but So you just jump on this box if I like, if you have better movement that I have. You wanna go forward and jump and then just jump again here you might want to save if you are not familiar with this and just like go go forward until you touch something that will push you and just jump it's it's really easy with the sport boost too I just you notice that I actually kind of turn to like some way there's there's like a thing that Kind of pushes you, it doesn't really push you, but yeah. I recommend doing the fling strat though. So you just place the bomb and just jump. And you will die from falling damage instantly if you jump. You might not die instantly if you only fall down, so you might wanna die. You might wanna jump. Of course you want to die, but... And well, you have grenades or the crossbow, you can just do it, just one for that. Be careful with your health, that's another thing for this level. Just press the button and just wait for the dialogues to end. And well, right here comes. Right here comes the um, the skip, the yeah I'm gonna say it's the last skip that requires high FPS, and it's really good to do. So it's either you watch the whole thing or you do the skip. So I'm gonna explain the skip. If you watch the whole thing, it's the same method, but you just enter the cutscene and not not do anything, as I'm gonna do here. So to do the skip. All you do, I mean, you would do normally, you would go normally there. So, what I'm gonna do is instead, I'm gonna play a radio message. Re like, remember this, it has to be a radio message. So, I'm just gonna play something like that. And just go backwards and get out of there. That's gonna teleport you though, so be careful. You do a fling um, on top of one of the invisible walls right there, and just come here. If you cannot do the fling though, well, I didn't think about that. Yeah, didn't think about that, so I'm gonna have to explain the other one. Um. If you cannot do the fling, which uh, I'm, I'm guessing, like, if, if you don't want to do it because it's just dumb, because it, it, it seems dumb, doesn't it? So, what I'm gonna do is the same method. I mean, you can do this. I mean, you, you might want to do this one. I don't even know. Like, you might like the fling better. But the other method is just come here. If you can, 
make it up here and just jump right there and that's all so right now the radio messages are keeping you in the level so you want to play the radio messages as fast as you can you wanna press the next one and then press the one before and just like repeat the same and whenever you enter the cutscene you will be teleported back to Hephaestus now you don't wanna be in Hephaestus of course so you wanna turn around immediately and just like be right there and just press E and you enter Raptor Central Control in which you are not going to do the same thing again so you're, you're not gonna get teleported back randomly since we got the new setup so we're gonna get our friend in Apalm is the only object that is actually consistent to do this so yeah you can use this box but it's not the same it doesn't have the same physics and shit so you wanna use the, na the napalm and you wanna get a good setup for this so you wanna get the napalm like facing this way instead of this one so you wanna have it like like this like this is this is perfect so whenever you're up just save on top of it and just do that um Like, you wanna go up, you wanna go forward, jump, jump in the, not the edge, but close to the edge and just... If you jump too early, you will get caught on there, so yeah. You jump on top of the door, and when you're here, you wanna enter this, start, save, just create a new save, and you load the save that you just saved and you can move it doesn't have anything else to it you just enter the cutscene save load and you can move and you will have to watch this part of the cutscene the game forces you to do to do so but after this you're gonna activate the trigger for for the machine so you're gonna get new diaries now You wanna diary skips this these ones? For optimal strats, you wanna skip the cuts the uh, the diaries while jumping. Just jump into the menu, skip. But yeah, just come here and go to the next level, which is Olympus Heights. And here we go, Olympus Heights. There is no more fling strats there's there's three more skips and we're set to go to the end this one's well i i wouldn't consider this one a skip in 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 a way it's more of a glitch that saves time but you kind of skip something but you don't really skip i mean just keep going back So you're gonna, you want a diary escape here? Your special key, as I uh, mentioned before, it probably won't work here. So you wanna open it with the menu key that you have set. In my case, it's it's M. And she will at some point walk. So you just quote unquote follow her. I just mess around with this because I like it. So I just jump on top of it. <laughs> jump on the girl. It doesn't save any time or it doesn't do anything. It's just cool looking and it's fun doing this. So just do this and wait for her to open the door. Whenever she's right there, she just drop. Now there's an important thing. You want to be fast with this. 
So you just pick this up. If you've done everything all right, you should have the same radio messages I'm gonna sow. So, you wanna be here. Just go out of there. For practice purposes, you wanna make a save. I'm just gonna do a quick save, but... but yeah, you wanna go like this way, this angle. Just um, go to the menu. Radio messages, say hi to Ryan. And maybe you wanna save. And just like go back, press E. Bam, you're you're out of there. You wanna you want to press the the radio message before you do it. So well not before because there's radio messages playing, but it's recommended. Then you just Then just go to the end of well, follow the arrow. Pretty much. Follow the arrow while well, follow my route because the arrow is done. You won't have to play any messages if you did it correct, so just continue this. Another radio message will pop out. You won't will pop up. You won't have to actually uh, do anything. It won't teleport you. So you just get that. Use the diary. Nope. Oh. <sighs> yeah, I did it wrong. I forgot, but yeah, don't 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 worry about that. I I am not used to keyboard. That's what happened. But yeah, you wanna. Use the diary and then use the radio message. I just, I don't know why I went out of the menu. Don't go out of the menu, for the love of God. <laughs> I don't know why I went out of the menu. That's just some silly mistake. I always make silly mistakes when trying to explain stuff. But yeah, you want to get the diary, quickly use it, use the radio message and just get out of the area. So you just come here. Do that. And that's all. <laughs> and then you come here. And password is 5744. So. And you have crossbow ammo. You might want to use it. It's it's really helpful. Um, if you don't, you just use whatever gun you can. It, it works the same, really. You just want to take out this camera. Like right now, for me, it's not really all that important because I'm already on the side of a camera. But if you're not on the side of a camera, you want to take that off because you you don't want to get stuck in that area for a minute. So, yeah. Once you get that, you just you use a diary. You don't use a radio message. You use a diary, and you will get teleported to Apollo Square. That's why you don't want to get out of the menu because if you use a diary and get out of and get out of the menu, you will get teleported, no matter what you do. So, so if you don't have enough uh, first aid kits, you can buy some there. I have enough, so I'm not gonna buy them. But if you don't have enough, you might want to buy them instead of taking your time to... Why am I stuck? Instead of taking your time to break those things. You can actually just take your time and break those things, but I, I don't recommend it. How many first aid kits those give you, um, those give you is actually random, so... So yeah. Just buy them if you need some. If you don't have money, then there's nothing else than just breaking those things. Buying, buying first is not really all that bad anyway. 
you might want enemies to hit you, so yeah. Yeah, we're seeing about that warp right here. And we wanna get here whenever we can use incineration. Just DNA is changing, so you don't wanna use incineration until some time happens and then just kill yourself. And you will appear out here. Uh, you don't want to be in low health here, so that's why the body. That's why you need the uh, first, the first aid, um, the first aid kits, um, and I always use one of these barrels. Just kill these guys, and if just for practice purposes, you can just do this, and then just enter here whenever you're stuck in here well not stuck like you can move you can just you can just do that good thing i pressed the button if that happens just try loading as fast as you can you want to heal you're gonna die if you um if you fall down so So you might want to uh, to be a bit safe with that. Whenever you fall down, you make sure don't fall. You don't fall there because you self lock. Make sure you fall here, so you can just do this, and we're set to go. Pretty much all you have to do is go in a straight line, and from where I saved, pretty much just go back in the video and just see it, and just just jump, and you will most likely get the skip. It's really easy to do. Some people that struggle with it. Uh, I am one of the guys that don't really struggle with the with the skip a lot. So the only part that makes me struggle is when I fall down immediately, and I normally don't save. So that's the point of saving if you actually get that. And then you just come here and. And of course, something that I didn't um, mention at the start of the run, and I should have, you want to make the safe alone easy, of course, because you wouldn't sur survive that fall in damage. N uh, neither of those. You wouldn't survive the first one, uh, nor the second one. So, yeah, just, just, um, just play on easy, okay? <laughs> yeah. And here comes Point Prometheus skip. The f the last ten skit skip you might know you might know about it if you've watched runs or if you've played the game. Um, well, I mean you might get the reference. We call it um, last chance skit because whenever you go through that door right there, he says last chance skit. So yeah, that's that's the thing. Okay, you might wanna take them off. You have a grenade or maybe with the shotgun, okay. So right here, this is the slow way of doing it, okay. Um, it's it's the same, I mean, whenever you're doing a run, you're doing it fast anyway. But you want to look down here, like be right there. And just like, whenever you're here, just look up. And whenever you, you can see all of that, just save. You want to save in this one, you don't want to go YOLO. And then just... Just go forward and jump, and if you are, if you do it, if you did it right, you might be able to go through this. So I'm gonna do it. So so I'm just gonna show you where exactly it's um, it's triggering it, so you can just know where to jump. So if you do it like this, it's gonna trigger it. So you wanna jump right there somewhere around there so pretty much what you do with this uh, setup is you set up in a way that it doesn't lock you in the floor it has two triggers and one of them locks you in the floor so what you do is you're looking up already so 
one of the triggers is gonna be skipped when, once you get past the the trigger that I that I showed. So whenever you jump, you're gonna trigger both things, and you're gonna be able to. Well, you're not gonna trigger the one that locks you in the place, so you're gonna be able to move right away. So that's all about this skip. If you have any other um, any question about this, you, I can explain it further but I think it's okay like this it's really easy to do you all you have to do is just put your yourself in that position maybe for practice purposes you may you might wanna first make a quick save uh, before doing anything whenever you you destroy the bots and just figure out where because if you go a bit to the left in that area you might actually uh, let me you might actually um you might actually trigger the cutscene without being able to do the skip so you wanna save you wanna save before for just for just for practice just to see where it triggers and when it doesn't and then just do the skip it's really easy to do it's right now it's one of the easiest ones so some people that struggle with it a lot so if you wait a lot uh, you will get a random message. You won't be able to go fast, so just skip it. You will always, whenever you get the skip, if you go directly to the door, you will always be able to do it without skipping dialogue. And now comes a trick that, even though I always say it's consistent on PC, it doesn't seem to be consistent for some silly reason. So yeah, there's that. This is something, this is a setup that might help. I don't know if it will help right now for me, though. Um, I'm gonna try it. So you just call the little sister. And make her run. Just wait for her to run. And just, whenever you can, just run, 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 run. And if everything's right, she, she's supposed to run right here. Yeah, it didn't go right. Uh, this is something that only happens to me um, on PC. Like, if you're doing it on console, it's consistent as fuck. It might have to do with FPS or something. I really don't know. Yeah, I really haven't mastered this with keyboard. I, I actually I can actually do it with controller <laughs> PC, but whenever I try to do it with keyboard is it just doesn't go well. So yeah, you might want to do whatever you can to make this work. Watching runs and seeing different perspectives is okay. Like I I I would say watch uh, the record run, which is gonna be in the description too, and just see what he does. Um, I know they I know some runners just wait a bit for her, and you might get it. Um, anyway, if you don't get this part, it's okay, because even though she's gonna walk for a while, so I'm gonna so she's gonna walk until here. And then she's gonna continue walking past this door, but if you do, well, there's something that I found consistent, but I don't know if it's gonna work now. Let's just let's just see if it does. Um, pretty much, um, you're supposed to kill some guys, like wait for her and then kill them. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait for her for a bit so she doesn't get stuck anywhere. Just kill this guy. Just come here. Kill this one. And if you're lucky, she might come. She got stuck somewhere, did she? Yeah, she did. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting like the worst 
RNG right here. This is something I, I've never done with keyboard. I never get this far with keyboard. I'm gonna have to though. So yeah, I'm blaming the keyboard because I all I all the time I do it with controller, and I always play with controller every time I get this trick, and I don't have any trouble. So. It might be waiting for her for a, for a little while, or just like not waiting for her at all, at all. It has to do with just the little sister wanting to run or not. She doesn't want to run now. <laughs> so, yeah. This is something that I have a video on, on my channel anyway. So, you can check out that it works. I just, I'm just having the problem right now, so. I don't think it's FPS related though, but I don't know, it might be. Right now I'm just gonna wait a bit more for her, because I know for sure you can actually make her run after this, but she's just dumb and she gets stuck right here. Don't get stuck with that, like you're not even looking at anything. Come on. And what I'm gonna do here is whenever she goes past that, I'm just gonna go here. Yeah, okay. There you go. Yeah. So you just wait for her for a bit so she doesn't get stuck and then just kill the guy. Whenever you kill the guy, she's gonna run and then she's gonna run all the time unless you do something slow. So, yeah. Don't do things slow. And here you just use telekinesis, it's that easy. Whenever you're looking at, uh, especially are gonna appear in the, in the uh, most like most of the time, they won't appear in your way, they will appear in the other way. This is just as, it, as it's happening here. Okay, that's a spider splicer. So that means I killed the last one. And now whenever she gets up, she's gonna run. There you go. The uh, the hard part is getting her to run in the first part. But if you do it right from here, she will run all the time. And you wanna pick up... You wanna pick up... Proximity mines, whenever you have them, just try to load them in the in the in the grenade launcher. You're gonna need those for the last boss, so or for the boss fight, because it's like it's like the only real boss fight in the game. Okay, that's the spider splicer, so. That's all. Whenever you see a spider splicer, it means that this is ending. And you wanna come here. If you get lucky, she will run all the way. And what you wanna make, well, you wanna make her run right here. So you push yourself to like to this spot and then just get ahead of her she will get you stuck right here but she's running whenever you're there you're, you're good to go it should work what I was sewing up before should it it should work okay I'm just gonna say it should work um, to make her run How did the second guy die? Well, that's something that never happens to me. But both enemies died. Okay. Ok, 
Okay. She will run whenever you kill all of them, so. Yeah. She's running. If she talks to you and says hurry, she's always running. She might be down at some point. Okay, so something that I do, which is killing this guy, because it seems like he's alive, but uh, that like he's uh, dead, but he's actually alive. He's playing just he's just playing dead right there, playing with us. Oh, well, if you have normal bolts, you might want to use them. If you have trap bolts, which is what you will have after this most of the time, then just use trap bolts. I'm gonna sew. I'm gonna sew the thing with trap bolts. Just make sure you have your proximity mines and everything loaded. If you don't, you just do it right here. But. You trigger this guy. If you're lucky, he will die really fast. And that's all. And we can get her a little... A little something. After this door. Let's see if he, if, if he runs or... Or what he does. Okay, she's running. So... I'm gonna get her a little present. There is something it's not required, but I'm just doing it. I'll, I I find it funny and at the same time sad because it's a cat. But just in case something goes really really wrong in the in the fight, you wanna get a lot of things. Yeah, whenever you're there, you just. And you just come here, and uh, that's all. That's all for all of the levels in the game, and now the last boss fight, which is really simple. All you have to do is use two proximity mines each round, just put them in the ground as I'm gonna do it, and then, um, and then just go do the like the goal, and then just he will just pretty much eat the proximity mines and if he does and if he does it well he won't have any health left but like one shot so you just shoot him once as I'm gonna do. I remember when me and the crowd put you in that sub. You were no more than two. Let's just say the, the, the tutorial could have been much faster done but I'm guessing it's a, it's alright and there's still things I didn't comment but I did the fastest route so that's okay so what you want to do is you want to put do that then come here and then You probably want to know Okay, they blowed up they blew up uh, the, the, the proximity mines if, it, if that happens you might have crossbow ammo that you picked up before Before the boss so or during the level so Whatever you can use to make this go fast and then just finish the game and because of and because of how we did the game this is gonna be um, the good ending because this game doesn't really have a, neut a neutral ending so so before I let the cats in roll um, this is pretty much everything that the route has right now 
um, if there would be something new, I would probably, I would probably um, try to do a tutorial on it or or something, something with commentary, of course. If there's any question you had, you guys have, just ask me in the comments, and and I'll try to explain it as good as I can. Um, I know, I know my uh, my English cannot be like the best, but I, I'm guessing you guys understood everything. So, yeah, that was the Bioshock One tutorial uh, updated. This is pretty much the one you want to use for PC runs so this is primarily the PC the PC runs tutorial and then there's the console tutorial and if you if you can't you, if you can't do the FPS tricks you might if and you still want to run the game you might want to check the other tutorial because it has the non FPS tricks and it's pretty much just it's it's a bit slower but it's okay for PC runs so yeah, I mean, if you can do the things on on your PC, you you might still be able to run the game. So, doesn't really matter. And I'm not gonna let the cuts and roll. I'm gonna finish up what I started because I said at the start that I was gonna do something at the end. So I'm gonna open up my splits. There's something, there's something else that I have to show. Here's live split. You wanna get live split? Um, there's gonna be a link in the description too. So, you wanna get live split, and whenever you get live split, you wanna create your. Oh wow, well I'm gonna I'm gonna update it now. It's telling me to update. <laughs> um. So you wanna have up? You wanna have the update? Well, whatever. It happens with your live split right there. And then I'm gonna show it on the stream because sorry for the sounds by the way. So this is these are my splits. Okay. And I'm gonna show something. Uh it's it edit splits, yeah. So whenever you edit your splits, something like this will happen. So you just wanna go here and put Biosock and whenever Biosock is on it will tell you there is a load removal available so you just activate it and what it does is whenever you have that you wanna you wanna set your splits to compare against game time and whenever you um, load the game for example and do that it will stop and yeah that's that's about it like it, there's nothing else to it uh right now the game's just messing up because i'm not doing what i should be doing but yeah um that's all if something doesn't work you you wanna you wanna ask me or ask any runner really if you go on twitch you will find some some other biosec runners I'll leave the leaderboards down below too, so you can check them. And pretty much that's that's everything uh, of the trailer from me. So thanks for watching it, and I hope it uh, I I hope it helped you. I hope it it worked for you. And if it did, then just I, I guess I'll see you in the leaderboards if if you uh, if you get your runs there. Of course, you might want to record them because, yeah, I might not accept them if they are not recorded. So, yeah, that's the last thing. So, thanks, every thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for thanks for checking out for the tutorial and see ya. See ya next time. And.